you want to protect your child, you want to protect your loved ones, especially the ones with chronic illnesses, immunosuppression, the best way to do that and to reduce your risk and, and their risk of getting really sick from COVID-19, getting long haul COVID symptoms is to get the vaccine. I think since April, things have really slowed down. And for this month, we have tested about 39 children as young as five months. And I would say 13, about a third of them have come back positive. The youngest has been five months of age. And in those cases, the parents were the positive ones. So the positive kids, positive parents. So the kids are getting it from the parents. I respect people's view on, you know, the risks associated with the vaccine. And in life, we always have to consider the risks, but there's safety and there's risk. And if everyone would sit down and really look at the pros and cons, the benefits and yeah, the real negative risks in getting the vaccine. I think overall you'll see that we have way much more to gain by getting the vaccine as opposed to not getting it. And so um, I hope that people would come to us. They, we are the trusted physicians. Come to us to discuss your concerns because there are lots of myths out there. And they say when you talk about the myths, then people remember the myths. So I don't want to talk about the myths, but you know, we can debunk a lot of them. And if we want to end this pandemic and just get back to normal, and it's going to be a new normal, but some kind of normalcy where we don't have to wear the masks and so forth. We just have to have the herd immunity, enough people vaccinated. So it's critical, urgent. Please go get your vaccine.